Each person's experience with cancer and its treatment is unique. Not everyone experiences side effects with treatment. And for those who do, not everyone has the same side effects or severity of them. Today, we'll talk about bothersome mouth problems. Certain cancer treatments can affect the cells in the mouth and throat. Some also temporarily reduce a person's ability to fight infection. When the immune system cannot protect the body from bacteria or other germs, the weakened tissues in the mouth can become inflamed. This is why mouth sores can develop and sometimes cause bleeding, and also why the throat can become tender. Here are a few tips to help you manage your loved one's mouth problems. Check their mouth twice a day using a small flashlight, being sure to remove dentures if they wear them. Try coating mouth sores with a numbing gel before meals. Mash or puree foods in a blender to make them easier to eat. And avoid foods like dry crackers, toast, and hard rolls, and fresh fruits and vegetables unless they are very ripe and soft. It's also a good idea to avoid citrus fruit like oranges and grapefruit. Have them brush with a soft bristled toothbrush. To soften the bristles even more, soak the brush in hot water before brushing and rinse it with hot water during brushing. And be sure they drink plenty of fluids, but avoid carbonated drinks, alcohol, and tobacco products as these can all aggravate mouth sores. Have them rinse their mouth regularly throughout the day and especially before and after meals and again at bedtime. This will help to keep their mouth clean, promote healing, and may even help foods taste better. We've created a homemade mouth rinse that's easy to make. Simply mix together four cups of water, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Have them swish the mixture in their mouth and spit it out. It can be frustrating and difficult at times to meet the nutritional needs of a person who may not feel like eating or whose likes and dislikes can change daily. Foods may not taste normal to someone going through cancer treatment, so don't be offended if old favorites aren't appealing. If the person's tastes seem to have changed, encourage new foods. The American Cancer Society has recently published the second edition of What to Eat During Cancer Treatment, which includes more than 130 easy to prepare recipes to help your loved one cope with many of these eating related issues. Recipes are organized by side effects, so each one has the symbols for which it is appropriate. As you can see here, the spring minestrone soup is for those who may be experiencing nausea, constipation, and a sore mouth as indicated by the icons. This book is available for purchase at cancer.org bookstore or on Amazon. Thanks for watching. For more videos in our caregiver series, be sure to check out cancer.org caregivers.